right, teachers, this month's Student STEM Challenge is focused on conservation and recycling in Arizona. So what can your students do? The challenge is to research the type and amount of items currently being thrown away at your school and improve or design a better system to reduce, reuse, or recycle those items. So before you get started with the challenge, I really think it's important that your students have the opportunity to experience what it's like to be responsible for throwing these materials away and for dealing with them. They need to understand that these materials decompose at different rates. So certain items, as you throw them away, are going to create future problems that other generations are going to have to deal with. So I was thinking that your students could play a modified version of Recycling Hot Potato. The objective of the game would be this. I want the students to understand that the problems related to recycling continue even after those items are out of their sight and out of their hands. They also need to understand that different types of materials take different lengths of time to decompose. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some construction paper, at least six different colors, some collector cards which you're going to be able to find on the engineering design template, and some demonstration items like glass bottles, plastic bottles, aluminum cans, plastic bags, newspaper, and orange and banana peels. Recycling hot potato looks like this. You'll first need to cut out squares of colored paper to represent the different items thrown away that need to be recycled. I chose six colors and items off of the Arizona Municipal Recycling Data Report. Feel free to change the number and colors based off of the size of your class and the materials you have available. I would recommend at least 100 cards be distributed so that you can demonstrate that each card represents 1% of the total amount we have to dispose of each year. For instance, I would cut out four green cards because metal makes up 4% of the total weight of annual recycled materials. Take a look at the resources chart listed in the STEM Challenge template for more specifics. You will also want to print out and cut out the six collector cards in color or on colored paper. These will be given to six students in your room who will represent specific recycling centers that are available. So first begin by passing out the six collector cards and let the students know what their role and responsibility are. Their role is to exclusively collect the materials listed on their card. That seems simple, but the rules are they have to stay in their current location in the room. They can also only accept cards that are their color and they're not allowed to announce that they are a collector or what they're looking for but they can respond to students who come up to ask. Next, you're going to begin passing out the 100 cards to the remaining students in the classroom. Try to vary the colors by mixing them up. So the students will have 10 minutes to get rid of their cards. They can either choose to pass their cards to another student and they'll have to deal with it, or they can go find a specific collector to give away their cards. In order to show that different materials decay at different rates, you will need to place a chart up on the wall to show that there is time restrictions on passing a card. Depending on the color of the card, the students will have to wait the appropriate time to pass. Cards are passed one at a time and only after waiting the listed time. At the end of the time, have the students bring their remaining cards back to their seats so they can individually reflect and then discuss as a whole group. Some possible questions to reflect on are, how many of the cards did the students end up with? How did they feel having that many remaining? How many of those cards did they pass to another student? Why did they choose to give it to somebody else to have to deal with as opposed to finding a specific collector? How many of cards did they get to pass to a specific collector? Why did they take the extra time to go find that person as opposed to just giving it to somebody else to deal with? And finally, how many cards were passed to you? And how did that make them feel when somebody else was giving them their cards to have to deal with? Wrap up by showing pictures of or bringing in real life demonstration items to show what the colors represented. So at this point you're going to want to start sharing some data about how much of these types of materials are being collected and recycled here in Arizona and how long these materials actually take to decompose in our landfills. This should give your students the background needed to begin defining the problem at your school with the type and amount of items currently being thrown away at your school so they can improve or design a better system to either reduce, reuse, or recycle those items. Once you're ready to start the challenge, have your students start by making observations about what type of items and how much of those items are ending up in your trash bins. You'll want to start with your classroom and then extend out to what's going on in your school and even in your communities. As you continue taking them through the engineering design process to research the problem, take a look at the resources listed under the Real World Connections on the STEM Challenge template. There is a lot of information on the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality website, including the data on how much and what types of materials are being recycled each year. You're also going to want to check out our STEM Pro Live session with the Odyssey Aquarium to see how they are focusing on conservation and recycling to create art.
So if your class decides to take on this challenge, we really want to hear about it. So please email us any examples of your student solutions, because what we really want to know is, can your students solve it?